All right, welcome back. Now we are going to cover what's called the vertical motion model. Vertical motion or the projectile formula. Okay, and this is this applies for anything that's launched or thrown. Um, so there's a standard formula that we'll, we're going to look at in just a second. So vertical motion model, and it's also the projectile formula. Okay, now this thing is the height of any object at any given time t is equal to negative 16 t squared plus v, which is the original or initial velocity, how fast it's leaving the cannon, the arm, the kick, multiplied by t, and then plus s, which is the starting height, right? So if I'm throwing a ball or something, it would be, you know, four or five feet off the ground where my arm is uh, located and letting go of the ball. All right, so this is the generic projectile formula. All right, this applies to anything that's kicked, thrown, hit, launched, all that kind of stuff. So, um, and the reason it's this is because gravity plays the same role no matter what the object is, okay? So we're gonna look at an example uh, of a snowball being thrown at 32, 32 feet per second is the initial velocity, okay? So that's gonna be our V. And then we're gonna say that it was thrown from a height of, let's say, let's, let's change it. We're gonna do uh, 16 feet per second thrown at a height of 32 feet off the ground, okay? All right, so what we do when you have the initial velocity, so this is our V value equals 16 feet per second. And then we have our uh, S or some people put an H. Okay, so we're just gonna plug these in. So negative 16 T squared plus 16 T plus 32. All right, so now we have the quadratic equation for a situation where somebody throws it at 16 feet per second from a height of 32 feet in the air. What we want to do is find the maximum height, right? Where is this snowball going to peak in terms of its height before it starts descending and then eventually hits the ground, okay? To do that, we're basically looking for the vertex, okay? And remember, we have x equals negative v divided by 2a. This is the x part of the vertex, right? So if we're looking at a picture, all right, we're really only looking at this quadrant because it's positive time and positive height, okay? So somebody throws a snowball, it's going to hit some maximum value right here, some height, and then it's going to splat on the ground or hit whoever it hits, okay? So we're, we're trying to find this vertex, and we start by plugging in our a, b, and c values, well, no c here, uh, but into this axis of symmetry formula. So we've got negative 16 over 2 times negative 16, right? So negative is in the formula, b is 16, and then 2 times a, and a is negative 16, okay? This gives us negative 16 over negative 32, which is a positive 0.5, okay? And that makes sense. This is x, but really it's the same as t because this is all about time, right? So this snowball reaches its maximum height at half a second, okay? Now to find out what that height is, we have to take this time and plug it into our model, okay? So I'm going to plug in negative 16 times 0.5 squared plus 16 times 0.5 plus our initial height of 32. All right, I can take this plug this straight into my calculator. So uh, this is 0.5 squared is 0.25, which is a fourth, right? So one fourth of 16 is four. So we've got negative four. Half of 16 is eight. So if you're not tracking with my mental math, don't worry about that. You can use your calculator and then plus our 32. All right, so eight and 32 make 40. 40 minus four is 36, okay? So we know that this point is half a second and it will be 36 feet in the air, okay? 
So she doesn't throw it very high, right? She's standing at 32 feet. She throws it just four feet higher, right? So she's not throwing it super high. She's probably throwing it more for distance, okay? So 36 feet is our maximum. Again, the process was to plug in our initial velocity, which is the V, and our initial height, which is our S, or the starting height, 32. And then we used our axis of symmetry formula to find the X part. And then we plugged in our X, or our T for time, X and T are the same, they're interchangeable here, to find our, our Y, okay, or our height in this case. So our final answer is at half a second, the snowball would be 36 feet.